The other thing about Prime Minister Modi is that uh, he is in no sense an establishment figure. Um, he doesn't come from an established business or political dynasty. Uh, and uh, at least in the early days, he had no links with any such things. And given that for a long time, India was dominated by the Congress, which tended to be very much the establishment, uh, I think in that sense, Prime Minister Modi has been a people's voice uh, in a way that a lot of national politicians haven't always been. The third thing is that uh, he's had an agenda. Uh, he, he has wanted India to be uh, less of a bystander and more of an actor on the global stage. Uh, he has wanted the Indian economy to be more efficient. He has wanted the ordinary lives of Indians to be better. I mean, the drive to electrify uh, the couple of hundred million uh, uh, Indians to electrify the lives of the couple of hundred million Indians who had no access uh, to reliable power. They're transformative, completely transformative. I mean, the drive to extend proper sanitation uh, 